Hi Virgo Gemini, welcome to your weekly reading for the week of August 28th, 2019. So as you can see, I have a new deck of cards. Um, this is the box. Look how pretty it is. Um, anyway, I'm still learning, so bear with me as I get used to this new deck. It's also a Tella like my other deck, so a lot of it is the same, but there's, um, there's a lot of it reads in a completely different way. So the directions all change, so I'm getting used to it. So let's get started. So your first card is the Queen of Coins in the upright. And the first thing I think is that you're giving something to someone or to something, but you're giving something to a situation. You're, um, you're keeping the peace. You're not making waves, you're giving your support to something. This is someone who, it could be someone in your community or you could be someone that is giving something to your community. Queen of Coins is, um, she's like the support for a lot of people. She's, she's the person that um, people go to for, to hear them out. She's like a good ear. So you're giving to eight of wands um, in the upright. So this is communication. You could be, you could be clearing something up. You could be taking action. This is, um, this is doing something physical. This is also a very fun card. This is celebrating. This is getting news, big, big, big news. This is traveling with friends. This is gardening, hiking, physical people things, and also communication and taking quick action, doing something very quickly. In your why, you have the Knight of Swords in the reverse. So in the, oh, and I, again, I think I missed something here. Um, in the past, there might have been miscommunication, um, even like arguments, very unstable energy in the past. And, but now it's changing to quick, but more positive. All right, so in the Y, you have the Knight of Swords in the reverse. In the past, someone felt empowered or you thought you were going to feel more empowered and now you're, you're uncertain about something. Um, you might feel like you don't know something or you haven't decided something, but this is oops, kind of a state of Mm. not knowing what you're doing yet. But you thought you were going to because it seems like you used to be more certain and now you're uncertain. In how you feel, you have the Ten of Coins in the upright. So you might be feeling bound by stability, bound by, how do I put it, convention. You might feel like you can't move, you can't do anything um, because you're stuck in some kind of long-term commitment, long-term job, long-term relationship, marriage. It's where there's a lot of things that are embedded things that take a long time to untangle, you feel like you're stuck to it. You're thinking about, or you have been thinking about taking some kind of giant risk, like just betting the farm. Also, this could be cutting, um, how I'm seeing this, you could be giving all of your energy to something really fun, something very exhilarating, could be travel, and you're cutting out convention. You're cutting out whatever convention means to you. Like, that's like quitting your day job. Hmm. 
All right, so in your advice, you have the Ten of Cups in reverse. So where these are meeting, this is being incredibly happy. This is also leaving home. This is having success far away from home. So this is all about um, joy and peace, happiness. It might make someone mad though. Someone in your family might, whatever it is that's making you happy that you're betting the farm on, it's making someone else unhappy. At the bottom of the deck, you have the moon card in the reverse. So, where these are meeting, this is something doesn't make sense to you. Something is very unclear. Um, it's, I can't say this in French, but it means almost like lack of order, um, more like a lack of sequence in your thoughts. This is all about thinking. This is not thinking sequentially. And then this is the moon. So it's unknown. So you're marching into something unknown very quickly. And it's like you're going for it, but you don't have it all figured out. Wow, this is crazy. You're giving your all to something that something is quick action, something that makes you feel exhilarated. You're cutting out whatever is holding you down. This is very, very much a foundation card. So it's like you're cutting out your foundation for happiness. This is saying it's going to make you extremely happy. This is also saying um, you're confused about loyalty. Confused about loyalty um, it also it also means that there could be something that you don't know that is um, like it could be a theft it could be um, some kind of something something shady something um, that you aren't aware of but you're going forward into the unknown anyway that's how I'm seeing that um, there also, this person who is mad at your happiness could be talking about you. Well, that was your reading for the week and I hope you enjoyed it. It's That's an interesting deck. They're, they're still a tele, like I said, but they are slightly different. Actually, they're a lot different, but um, the meanings are mostly the same. But anyway, I'm really having fun with this. I hope you liked it. Love you guys, have a great week. Oh, and your shuffle song is called Moon and it's by Beth Orton. All right, bye.